Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here with a brand new firewall zero hour video for you today. This one is all about DLC number 4 which is coming out tomorrow the 26th of February. And we saw this teased by First Contact Entertainment and PS Viewer Frank on their developer live stream but this time they've dropped an official trailer and we've got a good look at everything that's coming in the updates. Plus we also have a PS blog post from Firewall game director Damon Shabs. So let's just start with the brand new contractors and their skills. So first up we've got Jag, a Colombian lady with the skill called Ambush which lets you carry an extra proximity mine. Now we saw this in action on the live stream but now we get a clear look at her. She's got a pretty cool Rambo vibe going on or maybe Private Vasquez from the Aliens franchise. Next up then is Node, the new Indian contractor with the skill called Afterlife. Now Afterlife will allow you to detonate a C4 you have placed anywhere on the map even after you have died. So if you're just there browsing on the cameras or whatever, you can time it so that when an enemy is walking past, you can just blow them to bits even though you're dead. And this skill could be a bit of a game changer. It's certainly gonna make us all a bit more cautious as we move in on that laptop on attack. I can't wait to see how this affects the game overall. It might change the mess up, we don't know yet. So both Jag and Note will be paid DLC characters, so you will have to buy them if you want them with real money. However, like with Nash, back in DLC number two, you'll be able to get their skills with in-game currency. So if you want Ambush, it unlocks at level 31 and costs 25,000 crypto. And if you want to get Node skill, which is Afterlife, you can unlock that one at level 43 and you can buy it then for 35,000 crypto. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about these two new skills. So now let's move on to the three new weapons which will be added to the game for free. Now, we saw a couple of these in action during that live stream I've already talked about, but here we get to see some detailed images of them. First up, let's take a look at the weapon that we didn't really get to see much of in the stream. Now, I was told by the viewers who were there watching me stream, or restream as I should say, that there was an Uzi or a Mac 10 looking weapon, but it turns out it's much more like a TMP or MP9. I think they're both the same thing. I don't know, I'm not a weapon expert. And in the game, this weapon is going to be called a 9mm Stinger. Now, this weapon is classified as an SMG so it will be a primary weapon it's not going to go into your secondary slot so keep that in mind. Next up we have the weapon that is based on the real life SCAR H. It's an assault rifle that should pack a heavy punch but with a somewhat limited magazine capacity if I remember correctly. I think the real world ones are like 20, 20 rounds in a magazine. So the SCAR H will be known as the H5 Hornet in the game. I can already see people calling it the horny. I'm calling it the horny. Finally, we have another assault rifle. This one is based on the real life weapon known as the Honey Badger. And in this game, it's called the JA300. Now I looked up the Honey Badger after seeing this because I didn't have a clue what the hell a Honey Badger was. But apparently, one of the unique things about the, this rifle in real life is that it has an integrated suppressor in place. So look out for that, hopefully that'll carry over, that could be pretty cool. So, how do you get your hands on all these sexy new weapons? Well, the Stinger unlocks at level 24 for 24,000 crypto, the JA300 will unlock at level 42 for 42,000 crypto, and finally, the H5 Hornet will unlock at level 50, also for 42,000 crypto. Now, that one joins the Thunder Revolver as being the only two weapons requiring you to reach max level to use them. DLC number four will follow the tradition of also including four weapon camos, four contractor camos, and four trinkets. Now, these are all cosmetic items. They have no impact on the gameplay at all, and they will cost real money to acquire if you should want them. The exception being the little Diaz trinkets, which will be free to anyone with a PS Plus subscription. And that wraps up what's going to be available in tomorrow's update. Now I was in the middle of making a firewall video all about ranking all the skills, but I think I'm going to put that off for a little while now that we got these two new ones. I want to see how they play out over the next few days and weeks. So I don't know about you lads and ladies, but I can't wait to test out these new goodies. 
I'm particularly interested in the Scar H gun. I've always liked the way those guns looked. But let me know what you guys are looking forward to the most down in the comments below. Once we've had the new update out in our hands for a few days, I'll make a video analyzing this in more depth and seeing what other non-listed things have changed or improved. So if any of you lads or ladies notice anything different after the patch drops tomorrow that wasn't in the patch notes, then feel free to let me know in the comments. Anyway, that's it for this video, lads and ladies. But before I go, I've got to give a very special thank you to my patreon supporters i've already got more supporters there than i ever thought i would at all so that's great motivation to you know to help me keep going keep making these videos so thank you to those people and one final thing let me give a shout out to the playstation community 4ms which is four men standing so if you're someone who is looking for a squad to play with or to organize firewall tournaments then give this community a go They've got over 250 members and they're growing, so it seems like a very solid community to check out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.